this is a time lapse demonstration, just a little sample of how the uh, the uh, Grey Dane um, pet painting was done for one of my clients. It is in a time lapse, so it's a fast video. And the first thing I did was to mark the frame. I'll uh, use the grid style. I sketch freehand, no tracing, and then I proceed to do the tinting. And I do this to cover the canvas the whiteness of the canvas because um, it prevents from having those little pinned white pin uh, spots coming through your painting otherwise so this is my preference you know my personal preference but it's um, optional to any artist the painting uh, uh, mid, uh, color that I use it is uh, usually earth tones uh, amber or uh, any brown colors and uh, but you can use any any colors that you have extra to do that uh that tinting first and i did the background and then i proceeded to do the dog once that everything is done i let it dry and proceed with the colors the purple couch the original picture was sent with a heavy pattern uh, couch and my suggestion to the client was to be able to to have the focal point of the dog not to fight against the background so we decided she decided on the purple color so I start mixing the uh, primary colors the red and blue first on the palette to get that deepness on on the uh, on the color and then I start my way up with the light colors after that until the um final piece has a nice um purple that the client uh, wanted
the dog itself has multiple layers, up to 10 layers, uh, one after another to get the depthness, on, especially on the markings. This particular Great Dane had a very unique markings in our, his face and the rest of his body. Very uh, distinctive, um, like a reddish orangey coloration on the body too. So very beautiful because um, I got to see the referral pictures that the client sent. So it was very, very helpful to get that depthness on his final painting. And this is just a short little clip on how a pet portrait painting is born. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.